The exhibition at the Uganda National Museum and Igongo Cultural Center in Barara seeks to showcase to the public the status of milk in Uganda today, the present global industrial change, gender roles, environmental and political economy, as well as global perspective. I'm going to promote tourism because uh, people are keen to know more about the car and the people who wear that car, uh, especially in and in Hong You find communities with large hearts of cattle and they are, they are really rude to those cattle. Drinking deeply from museum's work project showcases milk cultures in Uganda and Switzerland with the director Igongo Cultural Center, James Tumusime, expressing confidence of the new tourism product. So, cultural tourism tends to be unique to the locality where nature tourism is universal. These are universal. The animals are the same, the terrain is the same, the plants are the same. But cultural tourism gives you something unique. And what I remember from my tourist, tourism, the things I have seen that have a cultural component, they stick in the mind more than a, a hippo or an elephant, which you can see anywhere in the world. His sentiments are re-echoed by Andrew Seguya, the executive director, Uganda Wildlife Authority. To us here in Uganda, milk is not just milk, the fluid that comes out of a cow. Milk is a culture product because we make so much out of it. We have the milk, which is drunk. We have the ghee, which you can use for a number of things. Not only to put in food, but also ghee is used as a skin product. The Uganda National Museum, Igongo Cultural Institute, and the Ethnographic Museum of the University of Zurich formed a partnership of Museums Corporation. The corporation is part of a long-term museum's research and education program between the three institutions as they disseminate researched educative topics for public consumption. Dennis Ikoa and Robin Yoso for UBC News.